everybody, it's Rebecca, and it's time. <laughs> it is time for the 2020 Best Picture Readathon. It's the first ever readathon, but it's like the fourth or fifth year of doing a Best Picture something book related with Caitlin over at Book Chats. We love the Oscars and we love books, so we just kind of merge the two. So this year, there's a readathon. It's super cool, it's super exciting, and you should all join in. So the readathon is February 2nd through the 8th, which ends just in time for the Oscar ceremony on the 9th. All of the questions or topics or whatever they are, I guess, are related to the nine best picture nominees. So there are nine different topics that you can try to accomplish or whatever. You can try to read towards. And in the spirit of the Oscars and this whole competition type thing, we're gonna make it a little competition itself. So if you read a book towards that movie, it will count as a vote in our own little Oscar poll. So if you really want Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to win, make sure you complete that challenge to get your vote in for that book. Follow us at Oscars Readathon on Twitter for more updates and information, or, or you can come back here and check my channel because there'll be more videos posted about it as well as a TBR and other things like that. Now, what are the challenges? So first up is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and the challenge for this one is to read a buzzy book that you don't really know much about. It's kind of how I felt going into watching that movie. So far, as of today, it's the only one I've seen. I have a lot of watching to do. But even now after watching it, I don't really know what it's about. I have an idea, but yeah, so that's kind of been like the whole spiel behind that movie is no one was really allowed to talk about it. So there you go. A buzzy book you don't really know much about. For The Irishman, Martin Scorsese's newest picture, it's a three and a half hour movie. So we have chosen as the challenge a book at least 400 pages. We were gonna go 500, but it's a readathon and it's like a week long readathon. So we said 400 would probably be a little bit easier, though still a challenge because yikes. Next up is Parasite, and this is a Korean movie. So we have chosen a book in translation or a book set in Korea. And I'm gonna say double points if you get them both. So if you get like a Korean novel that takes place in Korea that you have read a translated version of, Mwah. Actually, that's what I think I have on my TBR. It's undecided at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something along those lines. Next up is 1917, which is the World War I epic movie. So a book about a war or set during a war. A wartime book. Doesn't have to, doesn't matter what war. Doesn't have to be World War I. I guess bonus points for you there if it is, but it doesn't have to be, so. Maybe it's a fake war. Maybe it's the Wizarding War. If you want to read Harry Potter, go for it. I'm down. I'll accept that. Next up is Marriage Story, and this is a book about a relationship. Any relationship you want. I mean, technically this is a marriage relationship, but you know, whatever. You do you, man. You do you. Just a relationship. Jojo Rabbit is next up, and this is a book whose protagonists are kids or children. So. You could go the children's book route to really up your numbers there, or Harry Potter. I mean, I could probably make Harry Potter work for all of them, but I won't, because I'm not reading Harry Potter right now. We're down to the last two. This one is Little Women, so it's a book about women by a woman. Finally is Ford vs. Ferrari, which is the only movie that we did not have in our like brainstorm plan document. We're like, oh, these movies will probably get dominated. Ford vs. Ferrari was not even on, I'd never even heard of it. I have a one year old, guys. I haven't watched any movies, but we got the other one. So I'm pretty proud of ourselves. And by ourselves, I really mean Caitlin because she's the one who did that. I just was like, yeah, those sound great. Here are some ideas. Let's do it. Anyway, Caitlin really pulled the weight this year. Go Caitlin. If you don't know Caitlin, Caitlin is lovely. Anyway, Ford vs. Ferrari is the last topic here and it is a book about a competition or a race. So there you have it. Nine challenges. You have a week to do it, which I, I know that's 
not, that's more than one book a day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It'll be fun, why not? Let's do it, we can do it. I don't think I'm gonna get on nine, but I'm gonna really try. So yes. Again, follow us at Oscars Readathon on Twitter. Caitlin and I are both updating that one. And don't forget that every book that you read counts as a vote for that movie and our own little fun Oscar Best Picture race. Why not? It'll be fun. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram where we're gonna be posting as well. Share it out, send links, send us links, spread the word of the new Best Picture Readathon, where we're celebrating movies and books, guys. It's like the greatest blend of two. I will also be watching all nine Best Picture nominees prior to the show. I'm gonna have a really busy, like, three weeks. So, if you wanna join in with me on that as well, come and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and we can chat. So far, the only one I have seen is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which I just watched like three days ago. So, off to a great start. Be sure to send me your TBR videos. We will retweet them and send them out and share them out and all that stuff. Plus, I just wanna know what you're gonna read because I haven't mo finalized my TBR yet either, so I need ideas. But anyway, stay tuned to this channel for that TBR video coming out. Also, go check out Caitlin because she has an announcement video and a TBR video coming out as well. And it's so good to see you guys. I'm so excited about this. I guess that is it for me today. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.